Hey, welcome to Mullen Stock. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads. And also remember that this is not a financial advice video. So whenever you look at the chart yourself, and if you see a spike in any one candle for an extended period of time, you can already understand that there was some news when I made this video. However, despite this, there was no press release that matched with this 8K. But the 8K was submitted, and that's quite promising. So I'm not understanding why it's only up 1%, but we'll talk about it shortly. It says that in April 2023, British Airways started piloting Mullins cargo van in Los Angeles and Chicago O'Hare. However, it's mentioned that both places purchase bands for British Airways airport ground operation, and the transaction for LAX in Chicago was closed after British Airways received payment from Mullen on August 31, 2023. So as I've said before, maybe the price hasn't risen significantly because no quantity is mentioned. It could be one, or it could be a hundred. We don't know how many bands were purchased. But generally, I'm happy with this because British Airways is a big deal. And it seems they already received payment, as I mentioned, on August 31. This will be included in the next quarterly earnings. In addition to this, it says that on July 12, British Airways Engineering started a separate pilot program. So this is the same mystery that Dan Sanchez mentioned on Twitter, which has now been deleted, but it mentioned British Airways Engineering, so it's clear that this was the mystery they were talking about. And this program is in Houston. So Mullen is now an approved vendor for additional British Airways airport locations. I think this is a good thing. And when this rumor came out, it was probably in June. On June 1st, British Airways was mentioned in the work truck online newsletter. So maybe it's fair to assume that pilot programs are running in many other locations. And maybe orders will come from there too. I know that there are also some images circulating about Unify Aviation. But I think this is another company that was mentioned. I believe Bradford and Marion have also mentioned some universities we don't know about. So I think there might be some credibility to pilot programs, whether they are successful or lead to orders. It's clear that British Airways is on board and perhaps Unify as well. But as I said, I think the lack of a quantity mentioned in this news is why the price is only up 1%, when well, it could have gone up 5%, 10%, 15%. But this is just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. You should always do your own research. There are some other updates as well. It seems that a judge has appointed Mullen for the TD case. That is, Mullen's case. And it's with analyst Nadine Torres. You can find basic information about her on Wikipedia. It seems she studied at Harvard and Columbia. And on this website, courtlistener.com, she has listed her positions from 1984 to the present. So if you have any information about analyzed tours that you found through your research, please share it in the comments so that others can benefit. What's her style? Is she conservative or liberal? What are her viewpoints? And when it comes to this, it seems there was also a notice of appearance. There were names of several lawyers for National Finance Services LLC. One of them is Andrew W. Stern, who specializes in securities and shareholder litigation, securities enforcement, regulatory commercial litigation, and disputes insurance. Another name mentioned was John Munes or Muse, who specializes in commercial litigation and disputes, securities, and shareholder litigation. So yes, there are some updates making waves. I'll also talk about shorts and what to expect today. Right now the short score is at 80, the utilization is at 97.09%. And this morning, shorts are increasing by 342,000 shares, which is a bit odd because they returned a net 343,000 shares in the last part of yesterday. So they're just buying back what they previously lent, which is a bit strange. 20.24% of the free float is shorted. Overall, there are 35.26 million shares shorted, and looking at the cost to borrow, it had some volatility today. So the average cost to borrow is 31.15%. However, there are some things to keep in mind, such as this 45 cent mark, which is a strong resistance. Yesterday, they temporarily went above it, but yesterday was a different game, with a lot of volatility. But when you're looking at it, you should pay attention to the 39 cent mark. If Mullen does something as he normally does with good news, there will be a dip in the price. So you should watch that 39 cent mark carefully. It's bounced off there twice before and has become a sort of support. If it goes below that, you should be prepared for a downward trend. Maybe it will only trade between 45 cents and 39 cents. With some positive momentum, it might break above 45 cents. But there are a lot of resistances above us. So 45 cents, 50 cents, and around 54, 55 cents are also resistance levels. 
there are quite a few resistance levels above us. But if Mullen provides more details, perhaps the official PR is still in the works. And maybe it will include actual numbers, because if they say British Airways purchased 20 vans for each location, that would be significant news. This is just my opinion without any financial advice. You should do your own research. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about Mullen stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.